Hello everyone, my name is Michael Young and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon, the Crimson Court DLC. So, in between this part and the last one, I tried to do another run, and I did another run, but unfortunately the capture, um, the capture failed, so I don't have a video for it. I am so sorry. It was a boring run anyway. We sent some people in, it was all in the light. Uh, there wasn't really any any big challenges. We came away with a decent amount of money and some curios. Um, what did we get? Something stupid like this haste chalice or whatever. The real virtue was in the week before then. When where? Yeah. So before we headed out, we went ahead and upgraded some things. We upgraded the blacksmith and the stagecoach again. And we ended up getting another uh, flagellant. But um, we're doing a ruined run. And it seemed bad to bring a DPS or based around bleeds to the ruins because skeletons. So uh, we haven't tried them out anywhere yet. Let's see what we're going to do this week. We also unlocked these two new buildings, so we'll click them, of course. But let's just see if there's any new heroes that I want. I would love another highwayman. Highwaymen are great. Ligophobia. Egomania is worse. These are both worse. So we'll take you, Mortimer. Mortimer, you're going to be our strong second highwayman. Elusive. Evasive. Persistent. <laughs> Righteous traits for a rogue. Let's check the survivalist, see if there's anything new. At home in wild places, she is a stalwart survivor. And a strict instructor. Ah. Uh, no my wagon? Trinkets and charms gathered from all the forgotten corners of the earth. I'm inclined to go ahead and get the first upgrade. Just because we've An had a stockpile of curious trinkets gathered from forbidden places. I I I'm feeling the lack of trinkets. If I had trinkets, I could go and do this boss fight right now. But I'm not. Whoa! Look at that. Two of three. Antiquarian only. It will be mine, whatever the cost. Four speed, ten dodge. Extra damage versus blighted. Interesting. So if something is blighted, then you do more damage to it. That's a new ability. Uh, you see, I've seen increased blight chance, increased chance to blight, but not increased damage against enemies that are blighted. Cool. New, uh, new ability type. I wouldn't mind the dodgy sheath. Uh, Warrior's Bracer is, of course, very good. We don't need a tough ring, so we're not going to go into the kill the Necromancer Apprentice early. That's not very good. Uh, that wouldn't be terrible. Just the plus speed would be better than any I don't have anything else. So... Hmm. I think I might go for the dodgy sheath. Yeah. Just because I, I tend to use him as a melee person. Well, wait a minute. Let's go for the Warrior's Bracer, of course. That, that can be useful for so many people. Okay, so we are definitely going to run our new uh, Flagellant as a DPSer in the second rank. And we'll figure out how, he's gonna, how that's going to work in a moment. But let's see who... Let's, let's uh, sort out the party first. I guess, I guess we could run both of them as, like, they could dance. That might work. Who's going to heal... Um, you can heal, and you can be the stunner. Sure. We'll give this a shot. I, I, I'm very curious to see how well these guys do in multiple roles. So let's, uh, let's trink it up. I'm not going to run him as a, um, a healer, so I think I better go for the, uh, not use this, because... His abilities are based around bleeding the opponent. So I should give him the bleed stone, probably. And are his abilities melee? Yeah, they're all melee. So, sure. Well, wait a minute. I don't have very many of these warrior bracers. But he's already zero dodge. Right? Yeah. Okay. Dismas himself is going to get the um, the Drifter's Buckle, like always. 
Should I give this guy more max HP maybe instead? The max HP charm? Just for three more eight, three more? I think that might be way safer. I like that. Um Sure, we'll give her the haste chalice. And that is you don't really need the haste chalice. It's extra speed, but speed isn't that great on a um, on a Vestal. Anyway. Yeah, we need better trinkets. So that's the run. That's the people doing it. Let's um, make sure that they're all kitted out right. So I need to look at this guy's abilities again. Because I, I haven't fully wrapped my head around what's going on here. Let's make these cheaper, if at all possible. Just Some a little bit. Fall, but their knowledge lives on. Okay, so I, I his main two abilities... He, he basically... He has abilities that drop him below half health and then activate. And then he can either... Where is it? He can... Exsanguinate or he can heal. Redeem. Both of them will heal himself and either heal one other person or bleed one other person. And both of them reduce his damage. So he kind of has to swap roles a lot. He'll do sometime as a DPS or sometime as a healer. So, but really this, is, this damage doesn't matter. It's his bleeds that do so much damage. Let's certainly get Exsanguinate. Do I need Reclaim? Probably not. Okay. So the idea is he's going to be DPSing. Until he gets below 50%, he'll be DPSing with these. Putting bleeds on people. Brain of Sorrows is terrible. I, I don't... Know. Should I get Reclaim instead of that? Maybe? Just to... I don't know. His death blow resistance is really good. 73 base. Everyone else is lower. He gets like a 5... Oh, no. Uh, oh, wait, no. Yeah, everyone else is lower. He gets a higher base death blow resistance. I guess it makes sense. Yeah, unholy. Verse unholy when you're, you're, you're a bleed person. We'll try running like this. We'll see how it works. I'm still not fully sure what I should do with him. But this is this will suffice for now. Mortimer, you're our new guy. Um, you need your duelist advance. And point blank shot, sure. Yep. We'll just stick with what works. Uh, Mary, you definitely need to be blinding and curing. So let's um, get rid of the emboldening. And I wait a minute. It's 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 war. No, it's wield. We don't need curing. We can do without for now. Our Vestal is fine. She just needs higher rank abilities. And I'm giving her that so she can't stun. So there's no point in running it. That's fine. Okay. Now we need to get some people less insane. Um. This is so cheap. I should go ahead and get that. Because we're, we're, we're accumulating all these busts. Who's got problems? You've got problems. Let's get rid of Pseudomania. The front line of this war is not in the dungeon, but rather inside the mind. Okay. And you are bulimic, right? But that's not bad. That's not a problem. Not, not worth curing. Let's um, de-stress if we can. Do you have any problems? Nah, just throw you into the meditation ring. You don't need that. We've got lots of things we could cure. I just, I'm not feeling confident. And yeah, we're still running level zeros and ones, so I don't want to go for this boss fight yet. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do in the wield. When I'm feeling more confident, we'll head down into the courtyard to see the new content. 
Okay, that's. I, I certainly want to get districts unlocked, and I think you might need to go into the courtyard to get that to happen. So let's 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 make the short wheeled run work. We're still collecting blood. I'm recording, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I had this moment of uh, of uncertainty. A wield it needs a little bit of everything. There's not really any one thing biased. Uh, favored. You find left luggage, you find lots of stuff. Um, we're gonna run the light. At first, at least. I still haven't found a use for laudanum. But I don't think I will here. I think that's only gonna be a courtyard thing. Okay, let's go. Come on. There we go. Corruption has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. Okay, so Let's it's burn out this evil. It's kind of a sea. We don't really have a lot of choice where we can go. These short runs, I don't do short runs very often, and they always struck me as just amazingly short. Ridiculously short. Let's see how well this guy does in the first rank. This is a good battle to test on. But no it isn't. Why are there bone skeleton people in the wield? That's not right. This is the wield. They're supposed to. They're supposed to be in the ruins. Um. Let's try to stun you. Well, that didn't work. Executed with impunity. Okay, what can you do? You can punish someone. Putting a bleed on them. Let's do it. Four point bleed. Nice. Not enough to kill it, but you know. Bump in the night. Hitting me only makes me stronger or something. Uh let's let's hit you. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, that bleed stacks really quick. That cuts on its own. I kind of like it. They're really trying to um, bring back dots as a way of uh, of dealing with monsters. But you know, in the um, the base game, dots were decent in um, in the early game, and then they kind of uh, trailed off. Sure. I was thinking he's getting a low health, and I realized why is that bad? I like him. Let's let's, let's make this work. <laughs> okay, another fight. Hopefully, this one will be a better test of his ability as a DPSer. If you don't deal enough damage to him, then how can he expect to have good DPS himself? As the light gains purchase, left luggage needs lifted. Actually, the purpose is made clear. Left luggage you can open with anti venom because you're like neutralizing the trap inside. Gets in baubles, paid for in blood. Okay. Okay. So the danger here is that these guys mark. And these guys deal extra damage to marked people. So let's see if we can get one of these down before we get marked up. Probably not. Nope. Oh, nice dodge. Maybe we can stun them both? No. Yeah, we need stun trinkets so we can uh, count on... Oh dear. more reliably stun on the first turn. Let's do Reign of Sorrows. Almost no damage, but... I don't know, it doesn't seem very good. Let's just, uh, let's just hit you. There, she'll bleed to death before she gets another turn. Ah! 
Oh, he'll be he'll be below half health now. Oh dear. Oh dear. He is so stressed out. Wow. How did he get so stressed out? They must have both focused on him. Um, let's try this stun again. Good. I need to heal you up a little, but not too much. A momentary abatement. That's fine. A devastating blow. Okay, so now he can either heal one of his friends up, or exsanguinate someone for five damn five points per round. And it's only the first two, so let's hit this person. Five point bleed healed him up. But he gets a debuff, that means he sucks for a little bit. It's certainly a strange way of doing a battle. Um I want to pull you forward if we can. Good. Death by inches. Can we wreck you? Good. Uh, you're at above half health, so let's let's get you some healing. Um, yeah, that'll kill him. If he bleeds. The slow death. I'm liking it. Unforeseen. It's bringing bleeds back. It's really stressful knowing I'm always like sitting around half health though. <laughs> okay. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Yeah, we need to deal something about their, that stress. Okay, here's another fight. Right here. More left luggage. Nice ruby. And let's uh, torch up. Okay. Let's see if we can get rid of her early. Because she's going to focus him. Uh, maybe not. Pull you forward if we can. Good. They'll the stumbling scratch or whatever that is. Nah, they went in the wrong order. Too bad. Harmless swipe, that's their thing. The equivalent of a stumbling scratch. Why are you hitting Dismas or Mortimer? He's our friend. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Hit the guy that wants to take the damage. Uh stun you. Good. Yeah, they're focusing the wrong person. Should I mark myself just to, uh... No, that, that's, that'd be stupid. <laughs> Can we blight? Probably not. Nope. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Uh, four point, four point, yeah. Harmless swipe, that's what I want to see. I want to see both of them harmless swipe. So just keep on going back and forth, doing that over and over. How are we getting so stressed out? We're not even in the dark. 
Oh well. Um, this guy's already dead, so we might as well Reign of Sorrows. Can't even hit that far. Annoying. Them no quarter. Okay, he's dead. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Yeah, I haven't figured this out yet, because I'm not effectively keeping his health around the right levels so we end up never actually using that no 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 unyielding okay sure unyielding that's exactly what I want on you that was ridiculously good I should lock that in so he's up to 83% death death blow resistance I think he's going to be spending a lot of time at this door. <laughs> we're in the wrong order. We did not get a scout. So we're walking into the unknown. What is that? The nation spring to life with a singular purpose. Is that our last two more torches? Ah, double mummified remains. Mummified remains need bandages. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Bleed resistance. Um, well, he wants to bleed though, so yeah. Sort of. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how to play him yet. <laughs> Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. We're getting lots of deeds, that's good. Last torch. Food check. We have two more food checks left, and only two more rooms. So, we're safe from that. We're still in the light. Um, the dog is worrisome. Food. Sedated. Let me stun you. One of you. Decimated. That's a really heavy bleed. Wow. If there are um, trinkets that now give you like plus damage against people who are bleeding, that would be great. He's blighting. They're blighting. They're gonna. She's. Oh, sh they're just gonna keep on um, escape clouding me, aren't they? That's gonna be really annoying. Uh, can we? Can we stun the front one? No. We just made it that much more likely that it's gonna escape cloud. <laughs> We're all blighty. Maybe I should try main healing with one of these again? I don't know. They're kind of awkward. Uh, you're dead. You're not quite dead. Let's kill you. Okay. You're good. Um, we're not going to be able to blight you, but we'll try. Oh, we did. Nice. Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken.
They keep on focusing on Mortimer, it's really annoying. The whole idea of this guy is that he gets hit and then he can wreck people because he's in low, low health. But I've had to heal Mortimer up like four or five times more than this, than, what's her name? Arundel. His name. Ah oh well. No point complaining. Just ran RNG. I don't want to kill you yet. Let's see if we can get a heal off. Good. Let's do a party heal. As victories mount, so too will resistance. So this is wield knowledge? Let's go ahead and give it to him. I oh, know, hidden treasures. A fortune. Lots we of deeds. We need deeds. More deeds. Cool. Ah, uh, man, we need to, um, we, we definitely need to get some stun trinkets going on. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really bad. Um, let's, let's just keep on hit punishing the front guy, I guess. He has high bleed resistance, though. For a few turns. 80% stress! Wow! Uh, can we... play grenade, you guys? Maybe? No. That wasn't what I intended to do. But we'll get him out of the way, at least. Yeah, we're gonna get slime smacked in a moment. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Stun you? Maybe? Probably not. We need stun trinkets, this is no good. Nice crit. Dead. Exposed to a killing blow. He's about to pop. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Okay, one more fight. No torches or anything. Oh, we didn't. We didn't resort, right? Oh well. Well, he's definitely going to pop in this battle. Back to the pit. Maybe we can stun him? One of them. Uh, let's do Reign of Sorrows, sure. It's such a weak bleed, I don't know. It doesn't seem like a very good ability. Man. Be gone, fiend. There, you're done. You're gonna pop my dude. Nope, you pushed him instead. I'm kind of inclined just to let him pop. There's always a chance to get virtue. What's your virtue chance? Probably pretty low. Ah. Uh, I 
think she's dead next turn. Yeah. Interesting. He can go back one or forward three. So, yeah, it seems like they're really pushing for him to be a front ranker. Something like in, in that range. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Okay, this is the last place to be, so we don't need any more food. Let's go ahead and pop this chest. Uh, with the key. Even more deeds. We don't need more keys, we don't need more bandages. Yeah. Kind of, I came in here with the idea that we were going to get a ton of, um, of money. And it just was not realized. Oh well. It was fun running him as a, uh, a dps -er, though. I think we want, I want to experiment more with this. Driving out corruption is an endless battle. But one that must be fought. Yeah, about 9,000 gold and a ton of deeds, which is great. Let's get that stagecoach upgrade. Dark Temptation is bad. Paranormia is bad. Grove Tactician is fine. Not great. A fresh irritant to some. A sanguine memory to me. Okay. That went okay. We need to deal with that. We're not getting the stress reduction that we need. Because of, um... Yeah. We need to deal with that. But not tonight. So thank you everyone for watching. My name is Michael Young. This is Darkest Dungeon, the Crimson Quartz DLC.